Pencil marks? We don't know what those are on this channel. All but two of the 330 plus videos here are without candidates. This is puzzle number 91 from Sudoku to Go volume 157. This puzzle is one of the harder diabolical puzzles I've found in Sudoku to Go magazines. There were three or four rough patches or rough spots that I had to go through to get this and finished up. So I think you'll like it. Before we get started, let me point out that you can print this puzzle and fill it in as you watch the video. Just follow these instructions right here. You can also go to sudokuprimer.com, go to this menu item, and find lots of puzzles out there that you can print and solve. And there's a video for each puzzle. You just click on the link on that same page and you'll go to a video where you can watch that puzzle being solved. Well, let's solve this one. First of all, I'm going to do some easy numbers like I always do. Let's get those easy numbers out of the way. 1, 1, 1. There's a 1 here and a 1 here, so these are ghost 1s. So ghost 1s, 1, 1, makes that a 1 right there. There's a 9 here, 9 here, so that's a 9. 4, 4, 4. Five here, five here, five there. So that's a five in box four right there. There's a two and a nine in this row already. So that makes these two nine twins. That leaves one, two, three, seven, three, seven there. There's a three there. So that's a three. And that's a seven. We've got an 8 here, 8 here, 8 here, so the 8 in box 4 goes there. Let me show you, um, we have a 5 and a 7 in this column here and a 5 and a 7 in this row. So that makes these 5, 7 twins. And so... Um, the 7 in box 7 goes right here. We have ghost 7s there, and a 7 there, and a 7 there. So that makes that a 7. And then we've got a gate pattern right here with a 9 going through it. We've got a 9 here. Well, I'm sorry. A uh, gate pattern here with a 9 going through it. So that makes one of these a 9. So we've got a 9 here. Ghost 9s here makes that 9. That's cell a 9. And then we've got a 4 and a 4, so that's a 4 right there. And remember our 9's here. There's 9 going through the gate and 9 there. So one of these is a 9, but we have two 9 twins there. So that makes that a 9. We've also got a... 9 here, 9 here, so 9, 9, and a 9 there, so that's a 9 right there. We've got uh, 5, 7 twins here, so we have ghost 5's there, ghost 5's there, and a 5 there, so that's a 5. And I think we can finish up our 8's here. We've got 8 here, 8 here, so 8 there. 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, so puts an 8 right there, so we have 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8 there, so that's an 8, and 8, 8, 8, so we finished our 8s, but at this point, we get stuck. 
we're not sure where to go next or um, what we can do here. So let's, um, I'm going to go to the, this is the first rough spot. And I'm going to show you the next number that I can find. Um, if you want to, you can pause the video. Uh, I'm going to show you the next number I'm going to find if you want to see where I um, place it. And then you can uh, pause the video after that if you'd like. I'm going to put a 2 right there. Right now we've got a 2 here and a 2 there. So, uh, um, so one of these can be a 2, but I'm going to eliminate that as a, as a possibility. So that's your clue. If you want to pause the video now, go ahead. Um, remember our five seven twins that we found. Well, there's a five and a seven here, so that can't be a five or a seven. So the five and seven have to be in one of these three cells right here. Now let's use unique rectangles in a in a very different way. One of the these are five seven twins. So we know these can't be five, seven twins right here. That violates the rules of unique rectangles. We also know that these can't be five, seven twins here, because if these are five, seven twins, that can't be a five or a seven, and we know that it's a five or a seven. So we can't have five, seven twins this way. We can't have five, seven twins this way. The only way we can have five, seven twins in this box is this way and make it work. So therefore, we know these are 5-7 five, twins. 5-7, five, 5-7. Seven, five, seven. And because we know that, we also know that these are 2-6 twins. This way. So we still can't eliminate this 2 right here and put a 2 in here, but we also know that there's twos in these two columns already, so the two in box one has to go here or here. The two in box three has to go here or here. Using double row elimination, we know the two in box two has to go in one of these three cells. And there's a two here and two here already, so that is a two. So we used um, URs and double row elimination to find that two right there. Okay, And now um, we're still kind of stuck. That helped us a little bit, but we've run into another rough patch. So I'm going to show you the next number. If you want to pause the video, go ahead. I'm going to show you where I'm going to place the next number. So if you want to pause before I do that, go ahead. This right here is another 2, and I'll show you how I know that. We've got a 2 here, so the 2 can be in any of these three space, any of these three cells right here. But we have a 2 and a 9 here, two 9 twins. We have a 9 here and a 9 here, so the 9 in box 9 has to go in one of these two cells. So we have two nine twins here, and using unique rectangles again, this is using them in a different way. Uh, two nine twins here, and a nine has to go here or here. Because of that, two nine twins there, and a nine here or here, we know neither of these can be a two. They can't be. So the two goes right there. Okay, so that's a second rough spot. Now we've got another rough spot right away. <laughs> this, this puzzle, like I said, is kind of tricky. So we're going to um, look up in this area right here. If you want to pause the video again, go ahead. But I'm going to um, show you a set of twins that I find up here. Remember, we have two six twins right there. So that's a two or a six. Let's see what this cell has, or what it can be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That can be a two, three, or a six. But we have 
uh, three in one of these three cells right here. And remember this gate pattern with the nine going through it? We also have a three going through that gate. And so the three here has to go here or here. So use, knowing that one of these is a three and one of these is a three, using double column elimination, we eliminated these two columns. So the three has to go in this column right here. And there's a three there. So the three has to be here or here. So instead of that being a two, three, or six, it's a two or a six. And therefore, it's a twin with this one, two, six twins. Okay, now let's look at box two right here. Let's see what we're missing. Three, five, six, seven. Three, five, six, seven. So where can those go? Let's see. Got a five here, five here. So five, three, five, six, seven. There's a seven there, so that can these can't be a seven, so seven. But I pointed out six in one of these four cells, but in reality, we have a T pattern right here in box five with a six in this row. So the six is um, constrained to column five here, so that can't be a six. So therefore, we have three, let's see, three, five, six, seven. But since these our two six twins right here. The six can't be here or here. So that is a six. Got a six, it goes sixes here and goes sixes here. So that is a six. Well, we know that because of these two six twins that we found. All right, let's look at column four now. Let's see what we're missing here. One, three, six, seven, one, three, six, and seven. We've got a one and a six here, so that's a three or a seven. We've got a one and a six here, so that's a three or a seven. So these are one, six twins right there. So that leaves a three right there. Now we, can, I just wanted to point that out here because it's an e easy way of finding a couple of sets of twins, but we also know that we're missing a three and a five here, and there's a five there already, so we could have done it that way. So these are one six twins. These are three seven twins. So. All right, let's look at row three and see what we're missing. Three, five, seven. Three, five, and seven. There's a five there, so three, seven. There's a five there, it's three, seven. So three, seven twins, and a five goes right there. With that five, we can put a seven there. Remember our five, seven twins. And a five there, and a seven there, our other five, seven twins. And now let's look at, remember these, one of these is a three. With this seven right here and a seven here and seven here, we have three seven twins right there. And we've also got, let's see what else we've got here. One, two, four, six, four six twins right here. So we can put the, we can fill in the four six twins with that four right there. We know that's a six and that's a four. So these are three seven twins. What does that leave us with? One, two, four, five. One, two, four, five right here. There's a one and a five, so that's two and four. There's a two there, so we can put a two there and a four there. These are one and five, and there's a five there, so we can fill those in. And we're left with three seven there. These are two six. We got a six there and a two there, so we can fill those in. That leaves three seven here and three seven here. These are three six. Can we solve those? There's a six right there, so that's a th 
3, and that's a 6 right there. So we can fill this one in, 4, 5, 9, 3, 2, 7, 2, 7. So that's a 3 right there. We're missing 1, 6, 1, 6 there, and 1, 6 there, 1, 6 there. Let's see, with the 2, 9 here, there's a 2, so we can fill those in. And we got a 9, 9. A nine there, so that's a nine. And these are one and six also. Six there, so one, six, one there, so six, one, six, one. Okay, now three, seven there. Got a three here, three here, so that's a three. And this is a six because of our T pattern we found earlier, and that's six there. With this 3, we can solve the 3, 7 there. 3, 7. And 3, 7 in box 1. And then we've got 4, 7 right there. 7 there, so that's a 7. And that's a 4. And we got it. Well, that one was a bit tricky. I hope you liked it. I liked solving it. It was, uh, it was one that uh, had me going there for a bit, but I was able to uh, get through it. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.